The following program contains scenes that may be upsetting for some viewers. For me on the ghost trail, my primary role is um, to give the souls peace and completion. <laughs> But if these souls don't get the peace that they need, then as um, has been verified with the other people in the team, they affect us. They affect our thoughts, emotions and feelings and they can start to cause physical health problems and mental health problems. <laughs> The following program has been filmed for your entertainment. Viewers may find some scenes disturbing. Broadcasting House is an old building, but of all the rooms, the Radio Gibraltar Library is the one which has evoked the most discomfort among members of staff. There are tales of hands being laid on shoulders, of records flying from the shelves, of disembodied voices floating through the corridors. And all this has happened throughout the years Tonight on the Ghost Trail, we're going to be paying the library a visit and we're going to try and stoke up some of these voices to hear what they have to say. Right, this area where we are now, uh, the, the GBC studios, are in very old uh, Ministry of Defence quarters. I have been looking at the, the area in, in, in old maps, the only thing I can refer to because when you look at this part of Gibraltar during the Great Siege, I've got a map of 1782, which is very detailed, and all you see are tents and shacks, and little sort of makeshift uh, hovels, let's put it that way. The reason for that was that during the Great Siege, mm, all the civilian population moved to the south of Gibraltar because they were getting away from the Spanish guns from La Linea. The whole town was completely devastated, so all the civilians people living in Gibraltar moved to the south area which again got hampered by the gunboats of Admiral Barceló who had them in, in uh, Hetares just across the bay. He used to come at night and, and, and terrorize the civilian population and all those military who also lived here in the south area. that at some point we had to come to the Radio Gibraltar Library. I've been working here at GBC for 10 years. There are many tales of the Radio Gibraltar Library, of people going in there on their own. Um, that place is very dark. Um, and of um, seeing discs or CDs flying across the room uh, and um, taps on the shoulder weird voices that come out from nowhere. 
and people don't like going on that route. So, obviously, we decided that that, just, that was the route to check out. We got one of possibly the most creepiest voices we've heard in a while out of the, the black box, and we also got poltergeist activity. location there's a lady she gives me the impression she's black she would have been attached to slavery and she was singing Jesus loves me this I know this was the first time that we'd used a brand new device um, a brand new app called black fox which um, you know works very similar to the echo Vox, but is used in a slightly different way it attracts as Sam says lower vibrations okay if there are any spirits in this room we can use this, this sound to speak. Come through and speak now. Tell us your name. That black box, I mean, that made us all feel physically ill. I remember going home phys feeling physically ill and I wasn't the only person that night. I, I remember there were others that were also not feeling very unwell. Dude, my, my heart rate's gone up. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just the sound that's creepy, I don't know. <laughs> it is a creepy I don't sound, know. It's, it's totally different day, but... Oh my god, what that was, was that? Voice. That was a voice. Can you say that again, please? And when we let this entity in, and he was of a lower vibration, he certainly was in what we call the astral plane. He wasn't ready for any forgiveness. We got a very clear voice saying, David. 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 That's it. David. That was a creepy voice. My God. <laughs> and that's and that's okay. Let's let's just check it out again. And, and that's that the only it. voice. That's the only name that came through. Everything else, I mean, you heard it. It was just sound. It was just sound. He was aggressive. He was such um, an angry, manipulative soul. He was trying to manipulate all the other souls that were trying to connect at that location. And yes, he certainly gave us a few surprises, as you'll see as the season goes on. I'm all right. I'm just a bit shaken, so bit shaken up by the whole. Quite didn't expect that. No, I mean, that no. was just a test. Yeah. To see how it worked, and that was. Yeah, I mean, it would be interesting to see um, if the creator of the black box, black box, has anything to say about it. Mm -hmm. We can always send him the clip and see if. Well, he's already volunteered that if I need any advice. Yeah. So we'll send him it and see what he says. But that was that was. No doubt. Wasn't expecting it. I mean, no. to just hear sounds like that, and then suddenly that voice was, I mean, clear as day. Is that all we heard, or was there anything else? There was, no. there was something no. before it. There was something before when there he was said David, it was there the was something else. quietly. And it, it was said low. Something. It was low. Because remember, like, like the Echo Vox, it also works on the principle of um, using recorded voice to echo it back as well. Mm. So, you know, if there's a disembodied voice that comes through the microphone, it'll mm. pick it up. We'll just hear it as an echo that nobody spoke. It's been every location. The first time David sort of appeared and made himself known was in the GBC library. That was the very first name that came out the black box and it was very clear and very precise and it caught us all by surprise. And from that day, he's made himself known on every single location we've done. And I'm a little bit confused of where David is from or what his intentions are or what he actually wants. But yes, it's, it's, it's been a strange, a strange journey for me. There's um, a lady that's passed, who's connected with somebody here who works at GBC. GBC is packed with technology and this is an area that spirits can feed off. So I'm drawn to go right into this corner on the right hand side. Whoa, look at the screen. Someone's behind Sam. That's behind, yeah. We've actually managed to capture the connect twice now. 
Yeah, it's and, definitely and this, something this there. Hang on. Whoa, 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 it's climbing up. Hello. Who is that? Can you move it? If, if someone's standing behind Those Sam, can you move your arm up?